let Twitter pick which Pokemon I would be using in Pokemon Shining Pearl. Oh god, maybe this was a bad idea. With these six Pokemon in my sights, I set off to embark on a new experience throughout the Sinnoh region. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Professor Rowan, I know that guy. I've, I've seen that guy before. Actually, this kind of looks more like me now. Clint! N none of these are the names that I know, excuse me? He can't be anything else, so we'll just call him Not Buried. All right, this is the most important decision, but we gotta go with the middle Pokemon. One of the few fire types in the region. A Pokemon that I actually get to use, which is great. Everybody welcome Gunji the Chimchar. What, what? Look at him looking at us. He's just, oh, the stare down. I don't like that. <clears throat> Let's uh, move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Please, I want to profit off your labor by completing the Pokedex. That makes us comrades working toward the same goal. All right, up top, comrade. That's what I like to hear. Do you know how to catch Pokemon? Well, I can't say no. I thought you could say no to that. I thought we were able to say no to that now. I thought we had moved past the era where you had to watch this. Here, I'll show them how it's done. You think I need to lower my Pokemon's health first? Let me show you. There we go. Come on, give me like a level five. <laughs> Fyrus is level two, okay. Fyrus is gonna need a little bit of work. I can fix him. Watch this. You don't need to lower their HP, dude. I'm, I'm never gonna lower a single Pokemon's HP. I don't abuse my Pokemon like Lucas does. There we go. The plump mouse virus. Thank you for ratioing the smaller Twitter account so that my, my Bidoof can actually have moves. Uh-oh, first trainer battle. Let's see if I'm a real trainer or not. Ah! You see that PC over there? Okay, uh, don't care. Plus L plus ratio. Lotad is only available in the underground after getting the national Pokedex. No! Okay, somebody's gonna have to trade it to me. Oh, God. Does Fyrus have this? Yes or no? Fyrus wins these? Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. If Fyrus dies, it's all his blood is on your hands. Uh-oh. Oh! Jubilife, we made it to the big city. And there's Lucas. It might be more of a challenge raising a lot of Pokemon, but it's worth it. Now, nah, I, I only need like six Pokemon, actually. I, I only am allowing myself six Pokemon. Hey, kid, did you come to study too? No, I came to give you this thing that your mom gave me. I, I really don't need to study. I'm actually the greatest Pokemon player in the world. This kid can't even touch the ground. He is probably watching some fire YouTube kids content right now. Do we beat up on the children? This, there is no way this average. What? Charge beam? Excuse me? Excuse me? What? What is this kid's Abra on? Uh, Abra's back in my day. Didn't know charge beam at level six. Oh, oh, this is bad. Oh my god, we might actually lose to this kid. Let's go! Fyrus wins these! Fyrus with a huge crit. Okay, little kid has nothing on me. Oh, work up! Oh, that is nice. How many did we get? We better get, like, at least 10. Uh, this, this kid sucks. I hate this kid. Uh, I don't care. Groups don't do anything. Everybody should join the Captain Kid group by liking and subscribing to the channel. That's what you should do. Hey, either of you got a low tad? I'm looking for a low tad. Oh, shoot. Uh, we, we might actually lose this. Your Starly is nothing compared to my Fyrus. Don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. I am cocky. I, I'm gonna win. I believe in you, Fyrus. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Let's go, Fyrus. I know we are like minus four now. <laughs> But fire, it doesn't matter. Fire's gonna get a crit. It's gonna be easy. Oh, I, I just have to keep doing this. There's nothing else I can do. We have to- No, Fyrus! You had to live that. You had to live that and get a crit. All right, let's see how much this does. Oh, wait, wait. Not Barry is bad. Not Barry is actually bad at the video game. It's, does it not know Bubble? What is Not Barry doing? My Pokemon's HP is low. This could be a bit tight. D you have a water type Pokemon, my guy. You're level nine. Does it not know Bubble? I, do I, I genuinely don't think that the game is programmed to let you lose this battle. You are really bad at the video game. Oh, whoa, why is it so blurry? Uh-oh, somebody spilled the Gaussian blur effect all over the place. I like how they just give it absorb now. They're just like, yeah, leech life is too good actually. So here you go, just take absorb. Our first Krikatot sighting. It, uh, and there it is, just a blink of the eye and then it's gone. <laughs> Whoever got you to get shiny whooper is goaded. Yeah, you can thank Joan for that. After all the suffering I've been through trying to get shiny Pokemon, Joan was like, it's not enough. I must make you suffer further. 
Yo, we got the Hidden Moves app. Woo, woo. I don't actually have to use HMs anymore. Let's go. Look at him go. Easy, easy. This is, this, <laughs> this is kind of just a solo run. This is just a solo run until Fyrus can, can prove himself. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the Hidden Move Rock Smash. Get rid of the boulder blocking your way. <laughs> I wasn't really that impressed, to be honest. I've seen that like a million times. Onyx, uh-oh. Big boy Onyx. However, the one thing that I am best at in Pokemon is killing Onyxes. So, goodbye. Goodbye, Onyx. Uh, let, let's pretend that killed. <gasps> oh, we absolutely have this. All right, Gunji is leveling up. We are one step closer to getting our final stage than what the, the Pokemon was actually asked for. Yo, let's go, Monferno. Okay, this gym just got so much easier. You know what? They can't avoid it. The Bidoof will learn Rock Smash no matter what. <laughs> Yo, this guy really looks like a pedophile in this game. Holy moly. I don't remember being scared of him before. I am, I am actively scared of this NPC now. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon gym. Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon battle, but I, I botched that. Oh, that looks ugly. Oh, no. Why did they... T <laughs> okay. Fyrus, you got this. I believe. I believe in Fyrus. Uh-oh. Stealth Rock! What? Oh, man. I don't remember that. Calm down, Roark. Whoa. <laughs> what do you think this is? Is this OU singles? All right, Roark, listen. I know I talked a lot of trash before coming in here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really need you to miss one of those rollouts. Yes! Let's go, Fyrus! Holy moly. Okay, give me give me a defense drop. We need a defense drop. That uh, That's a good crit. Yes, yes. Best possible turn. If he goes for defense curl this turn and we get another defense drop, I'm going for work up next turn. Yes! Yes, go for defense curl. Go for defense curl, you coward. Dang. Okay, never mind. I can't, I can't. We were plus six, and he crit us twice. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what I like to call the Captain Kid Luck. Virus! Oh, I had so much faith in Virus, dude! Ooh, oh, and we take. Oh, that, that, that hurts. That hurts. Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not risking taking rollout. Nothing. Okay, okay. We're, we're good. I, I think we won this. I think we've won. Think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did the other ones? Let me throw out my trap card. Watch my cranny dose. Nah, we got this. We got this. Monferno, Gunji wins these. Okay. You know what? I believe in you, Fyrus. <laughs> But like we said, we got Gunji in the back just in case. Ooh, I think this might be a trend for the entire run. Just gonna be completely honest with you there. Yo! All right, I, hold on. I need to take my switch out so I can uh, clean my gym badges really quickly. There we go. Um, sure. Yep. Hey, there's some scary men over there. Don't you dare go into Valley Windworks. Why? I, you could have just said, nah, mm. you're, you're like a 12 year old. I'm just gonna use my sheer strength as an adult to not let you pass. Okay, goodbye. You are the honey guy, right? Like, you can hook me up. You're my plug now. Literally, like, two of the Pokemon I need to catch on my team, I can only get through honey. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as my things? Yes! You fools! How could you possibly drop the one thing that prevented me from doing this? I can't use the vending machines? Bad game. All right, Fyrus. It's time for you to get some on-screen action. There we go. Fyrus strat, too powerful. Mashing B, Fyrus, you do not get to evolve. I don't know what, what goes on while I'm mashing the A button, but we fade to white and then you come back still a Bidoof. Look at our squad. We're so ready for Perugly. They don't look intimidating at all. Dude, I'm not intimidated by this. Too cute to conquer the galaxy. It's not even that they're too cute. They just look so unassuming. Oh my God, I am absolutely going to get set up on you. All right, we defense curl. Uh-oh. See, this is why, this is why we wait to boost our attack until last. But Fyrus never hits itself in confusion. You turn uh-oh, see ya. <laughs> oh boy, I did not expect that. I think they caught on to our strategy. This isn't a hardcore Nuzlocke. I'm just gonna do this. Whoa, how'd that happen? How'd we end up at full health? I think we pressed the rollout button and we win now. Zubat, bye-bye. You're out of there. Nope, mashing B button. You will never get used to this.
I get so close to evolving, and yet so far, it's all I've ever wanted. But one day, one day I'll get- NOPE! I want to catch another Pokemon really badly. The honey trees require six real life hours again. Oh my God. My true nemesis has been discovered. A honey tree that I have to wait six hours for. Well, thank Arceus that somebody didn't request Munchlax. If people really wanted to be mean to me, they would have done that. Hiker Daniel kind of hot. He definitely has like major dad bod going on. Uh, he's got a very nice beard, very thick and full beard. Oh. Oh, here we go. It's time for our third mythical Pokemon. Oh, this is a special egg. Oh, this is a very special egg. I love Pokemon that sweet smell like this one. Get a whiff of this. Whoa, I think she just farted on us. Okay, actually, I'd let you fart on me any day. You know, I'm actually surprised that not a single person suggested Onyx, considering my history. Picnicker, Karina, she's gonna have a Badoo. Oh, oh, what? How? Um, excuse me. They don't just hand those out to anybody. How'd you get that one, Karina? Can you hear the, uh, um, what? Virus, we're almost ready for you. Let's do it. Here we go. It's time to get another Pokemon. Hello. Are you going to help me catch a Pokemon or are you going to kill it? Kid, may I ask you a big favor? Please, may I go through with you? Well, seems like I have no choice because I would have said no. Here we go. Do I finally get our third member of the team? Uh, hello? All right. Okay, there we go. Finally, we got a Pokemon. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Those are some cool Pokemon. I gotta want one of those. Beautify. I hope you're ready to beauta die. Yo! Let's go! There it is! Our third Pokemon member. Get this Buneary out of here. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it, please. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Let's go! We finally got another member. <gasps> okay, that's just a Petra Berry. I was like, I was about to pop off. What are we working with here? Brave Suvi? That's, I think that is about as good as we could have gotten. It's the funny, it's the funny call. We've heard it. It's the first time. It sounds just as good. Yo, we, we heard it again. This has been over a five minute battle. Thank you. Finally, Chansey is actually doing something helpful. Please just use disarming voice one last time and we can get out of here. Free me from this hell that is this battle between these two bug catchers. Thank you. Oh, I'm free. Sweet release. Holy moly. We are done. We're done. That no amount of experience can be worth what Donald and Philip just put me through. That was suffering. That was horrible. One eternity later. We did it! We made it to Eterna City! I never thought it would be possible. Oh, it was such a long trek. <laughs> Nerd, you got your Pokemon stolen. Oh, the underground. <gasps> okay, this is big. Big if true. Give me the gift of Minecraft. Uh oh, oh, we're just we're just going there, huh? Alright, we're out of here. <laughs> See ya! Enjoy this massive hole to the depths of the underground right in front of your house. I have to get going now. I'll see you around. Whoa. Oh, whoa. He just descended to the heavens. Uh, I definitely didn't expect him to go that way. Of all the directions he could have picked, into the skies was not the one that I was expecting. Uh-oh. How strong is this thing? Suvi, I don't know if you're ready for this. Boom. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Did Su oh, that was so much experience. <laughs> Let's go! Way to go, Suvi. I'm proud of you. I knew you could learn bug bite. Onyx, yo! Nope. No! Okay. Uh, see ya. All right. That was cool. Our Whirlpool went down. Just a boy. But he has come up a man. He is level 18 now and ready to go. <gasps> Cynthia! What did they do to you? Here in Eterna City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while tra while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Huh. Huh. Maybe, maybe a little bit of foreshadowing there? I don't know. I mean, I would kind of hope that the Pokemon on the box of the game that I bought is in the game that I bought. TM93. Cut! Woo! Here you go. 
Fyrus, it's time for you to eat. Yeah, we got this, dude. This is gonna be real easy. I think I think Suvi can do it. I think Suvi can take him out. Let's go hunting. It's like hunting for Korok seeds. And I never did that. I think this is the one gym where Wurmple can truly shine. Give me that poison. Let's go. Okay, that was best. That's best case scenario. Because then we bug bite and we win. Whoa, why am I even wasting my time with poison sting? Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is where Suvi can shine. How absolutely foolish of you. Oh, yo. Suvi is actually unstop. I didn't finish the sentence. This might be the most screen time that Suvi gets, so you know that I'm using him. Suvi, take us home, brother. Oh, 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 you kept me waiting. All right, Cherubi, we've got those on lock. Suvi destroys Cherubi. Just you watch. Just you watch. Oh, I forgot to heal it. I really should have prepared a lot better for this battle. Dude, Dazzling Gleam does too much. That that should not do that much. There we go. Who would have thought that Suvi would be taking Pokemon off of a gym leader? Suvi gets the poison 100% of the time. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, maybe 99% of the time. If this doesn't poison, I'm switching to Bug Bite. Yes! Yes! It doesn't matter. I'm switching to bug bite anyways. Oh, I think we might be dead. No, Subi takes those. It's okay. I was worried. That was a lot of workups because they knew they needed them, but it's okay. They're dead now. Subi, Subi take, Subi's winning this. Ooh, reflect is up. That does suck. Reflects down, reflects down. The shields are down. Oh, okay. We still move first. We still move first. And... That is Turtwig down. Suvi is two for two. Is it possible to go three for three? It's not the end yet. Hey, you're getting swept by a Wurmple. I don't know if you could even say anything at this point. All right, Suvi, I think you've done your job. <laughs> I think I will put in my fire type starter now. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Two gyms down. Still the toughest traders that we faced have been little children. The gym leaders have been total pushovers. Suvi... The deserved MVP of that that one. You love to see it. Our Wurple actually did something. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of you, Wurple. Oh, but you don't get to evolve. No. The next day. It is time to see if I can roll the dice and get lucky by getting an apom off of one of these honey trees. If we don't get an apom on any of the honey trees that we lathered up last night, we have to wait another six hours. So this is a big check. Come on, everybody. Give me an apom with the praying hands. I, I need everybody prayers up for apom. The no, not the beast! Not the beast! Our second chance. Let's see him. We're about to get our fourth member of the team. Ben the ape. Okay. Six and a half hours later. We are halfway there. We're halfway to the team. We're about to be two thirds of the way there. When we get this apom right here, No, God! There's almost no reason for us to do this. Be gone, fuck! Let's go beat up on Team Galactic, I guess. I like it. <laughs> they're, they're just so shameless about it. We want your Pokemon. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, Fyrus, you got this. Hey, what's going on here? Whoa, we just got in the middle of things. See, this is a really good scenario where we can just set up on Zubat and then sweep. Fyrus has never hit himself in confusion. Ex no! Oh, well, we can't leave. Yes. All right, hit, hit, hit. There we go. Okay, Fyrus wins this. Fyrus, uh, Fyrus wins this free. Whatever is swapping in next is going to get absolutely obliterated. Get him out of there. Get him out. Oh, no, it has citrus berry. Just live on one HP, Fyrus? Close. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to throw out my best Pokemon. <laughs> For rescuing me. I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike. Yo, free bike? Marvelous, you've chosen a dignified blue. It almost seems like you can see the bubbles of Squirtle! Like my like my guy! Oh my god, that's like going crazy. Look at that gear change. You go freaking plus ultra when you change gears. <gasps> that's a Ponyta! There it is. The second fire type. The only other fire type that we can obtain. We've got both of them. Gunji! <gasps> it's oh my god. Why are they so close? Route 208, woo, we did it. 
clap it up, everybody. We made it through Mount Cornet. I didn't think it was possible. Hey, is this the gym leader? <laughs> I, I can't tell who's a normal NPC and who's just like someone that's supposed to be special. Oh, whoa! I can't get over it, dude. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my hero. I'm Deku. I'm Deku now. She said my hero. That means I'm, that means we're Deku. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even realize that was our mom. I I just can't get over it. I, I don't really... They look so lifeless. Our mom's name is Johanna? Johanna? I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non-stop. Right, Johanna? I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. We haven't talked in months. <laughs> you ran off on your own and then you never said anything. I miss you so much. Your dad's gone. You're gone. I'm all alone. Every day life gets harder. I, I actually don't care. Address? What are these gender norms that we have to conform to? Screw you, mom. I want them to put a photo of my Wurmple up here. Which contest? Uh, you already know. We're gonna be so cute. How bold are we feeling? How beautiful, how cute are we feeling? Uh, look at that. Subi is our cutest Pokemon. Yo, two height points. Let's go. Okay, we're, we're going to absolutely crush it. Yeah. Oh, what is this bias? Um, why didn't we get any hearts? Excuse me. All right, they better not get any. All right, what, what are they doing? Putting us right next to, uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh. Okay, I need a perfect. Oh, you suck. Kira, you're trash. Oh, contest move. Yo, let's go, Subi. Mess him up. Ooh, ooh, yes, there we go. Yo, this is where all my DDR skills that I've been practicing, they're finally coming into play. Oh, get it, Warple. Okay, um, did Subi win? Subi's standing in the front. That just seems embarrassing, bro. Come on. And no one knows what it's like to be hated. You, you're, you're beautiful to me. You're beautiful to me, Subi. It's okay. I'm just kind of delaying the inevitable right now. I'm just de delaying the point to where we have to start shiny Hello. hunting. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. Well, we know, we know who the cutest Pokemon is. Uh, what? You're telling me Subi's not cute enough? Uh, Subi just got third in a cute contest, excuse me. Uh, who are you to tell me that my Pokemon is not cute enough? I'm gonna go Karen mode on this NPC right here. <laughs> get out of my way, Gunji. Whoa, oh, okay, he's teleporting. Oh, let's get out of here, dude. Can we not do any- Oh, whoa. Uh, maybe they- Maybe they actually don't follow you very closely. Lifelong dream achieved. All right, let's, um... Oh no. We are we are so overleveled. Holy moly. I don't I don't think I'm not even gonna let him use a water type move. Oh, we missed! That is a brutal endeavor. Oh man, that Oh missing that power-up punch was so bad. Do we kill Print Plup in one move? The Pokemon history Pokechap. Okay, dude. I I really don't care. I forgot about that one. There it is. Every Pokemon that we've ever obtained. There, we finally got a revive. <laughs> of course, it's in the place with all the, where they keep all the dead Pokemon. I like the Gyarados on this guy's shirt. I I would I would rock that. Roughneck Kirby. That is an image that I can't get out of my mind now. <laughs> just Kirby, like stanced up in a in a biker jacket, just like tattoos, like teardrop tattoos, because he's killed people. I just noticed this kid. He's just got his kid with him. It's like, son, if it wasn't for this Pikachu, I'd have you out there fighting for me. And I have health insurance just in case, so it's it's not a big deal if anything happens. The Pikachu shirt looks like he got it off of... <laughs> it looks like he got this shirt off of Redbubble. Hey, thanks so much for seeing all of our dead Pokemon. Here's some stuff. I don't know. It was just lying around. I'm, I'm glad we came here and saw this Zubat. Well, Zubat, we're about to put you in the grave. I think there's an empty grave waiting for you right below where you're standing or flying, I guess. And uh, yeah, enjoy hell, buddy. We finally made it. Veilstone City. Galactic Warehouse. No trespassing. At least this time they're like, 
Nobody's allowed. This is the awesome Team Galactic's awesome warehouse. Little kid, this guy talks like my friends. I think one of my friends just turned to Team Galactic. Goodbye workup. Hello Swords Dance. I I will gladly take a move that gives me plus four attack. Yes, please. Two buff guys standing side by side. That's all. Um. Sticky Barb. All right. That's whatever, I guess. Just two buff guys standing right next to one another. One onto one stacked onto the other. Nothing to see here. Hey kid, are you going to take on the gym leader? Oh, you just keep getting tougher and tougher. I have the same three Pokemon and also I picked up three horses, so. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader, but I will do the best I can as the gym leader. I take battling very seriously whenever you're ready. Well, what if I wasn't ready? What if I said no? I'm gonna try and sneak in as many power up punches as I possibly can. Be as absolute, I need to be massive. I need to be huge. Just bulging muscles from all my power-up punches. Bulldoze. Uh-oh. No way this level 27 Machoke out speeds me. Right, right, right. See? Genius. Massive noggin up here. Oh, but this isn't the end, my friend. Lucario. Okay. Uh, I think we win. I think we just mock punch and win. Unless it has... Unless it also has mock punch. I think we don't outspeed. Come on. Gunji Mock Punch. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for giving me an Infernape to use because otherwise this would have been brutal. Three gym badges down and our toughest opponent yet was one little kid with an Abra. Yeah, why not? Just give it to him right away. What? You're telling me my fighting monkey can't learn Drain Punch? So, I'm going to butt in here to narrate the rest of this video because, uh, how else would I make this upcoming shiny hunt interesting? With three gyms down, I only had three of the six team members that Twitter forced upon me. And three left to go. One of which was locked behind the national decks, another locked behind honey trees, and the third... <sighs> I felt there was no better time to rip the band-aid off, so I set off on my quest to find a shiny whooper. I had a few different options at my disposal. The classic random encounters, breeding, or I could try out a new mechanic. The Grand Underground. I wanted to give myself the best chance possible to find a shiny whooper in a way that would optimize my time so that I'm not three gyms in four months into the game's release. So, after doing a little bit of research, I realized that I could find whooper in the Grand Underground after getting defog. Luckily for me, I had just arrived in Pastoria City, so the defog TMs were one brisk walk into the Great Marsh away, and all of a sudden I had access to our favorite little whoopy boy down under. I initially chose this method because at the time it was still unknown as to how these color statues actually worked, and I was definitely being fed faulty information that every statue I placed in my base gave me increased shiny odds. So it isn't finding the diglets that raises shiny odds, it raises the chances of finding glorious boxes which raise Oh. So I assumed I had to be getting like one in 500 odds or something crazy. Who wouldn't turn down odds that good? Plus I could practically guarantee that I could only encounter whoopers with this method. I can see each Pokemon available to me in the overworld and can easily avoid any encounters with any unwanted water ground wannabes. And occasionally get baited by the lighting effects in the cave into thinking that it's all been a ruse and that shinies actually do spawn in the overworld. Whoa, wait, that looks shiny. Hold on. Wait, are they shining the overworld? That, that would... No shot that wasn't a shiny. No shot. That, that looked like one. That was not some... Please still be there. Never mind. With this knowledge and the confidence of a seasoned shiny hunter, I set off into the Grand Underground to begin my hunt for the pink whooper, Jome. Before I could even get started on my whooper hunt, though, I happened to run into our fourth team member. Oh, wait. There it is. A-Palm! We've got an A-Palm! <laughs> yes! We don't have to check all the trees! Luckily for me, A-Palm is not locked exclusively behind honey trees in this game, so I was able to collect another one of my team members in the underground, and now the real hunting could begin. I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with this, so I invited all of my fans to come join me in my hunt for a shiny whooper. Not that I wanted to use them for anything nefarious, like picking up all the Diglets and Doug trios off the ground for me while I continue shiny hunting. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I would never do anything like that. Oh, rough. 
Okay. Back to work, everybody. Oh, what is the purpose of these little mysterious underground creatures, you ask? Well, apparently these guys have been holding the secrets to shiny hunting underneath their little mounds this whole time because when you collect 40 diglet in the underground, there's a four minute period where shiny rates are doubled for each encounter in a room, which would have been great information to have had on the first day of hunting, but I was young, naive, and took my chatters for their word. So I ended up wasting almost all my time just hunting for color statues since I didn't realize that everything I had been told at this point was a lie. Flash forward to the next day and now realizing that all these green statues do for me is increase the odds of that type of Pokemon spawning. I fill my secret base with as many ground type statues as I can and get back to hunting Wooper at an even higher appearance rate. Once again, I utilize the free backbreaking labor of my viewers to pluck Diglets out of the ground for my own personal gain, but alas, it's to no avail. At this point, it had been two full evenings of checking for Wooper and I was beginning to become disillusioned with the shiny hunting method. Four minutes of one in 2048 odds was just not cutting it. I was only getting about 10 Wooper encounters during that time period, so to even get to at odds, it would take me around 13 hours. And that's not even mentioning all the extra time it takes to actually collect all of those Diglett to get to those increased odds. At the rate I was going, it would probably be a better gamble to just roll the dice on Route 212 and run the risk of encountering a different Pokemon. I felt that there had to be a better way. It was at this point that I turned to the Masuda method. By breeding one of your Pokemon with a foreign Pokemon, the Masuda method increases your chances of hatching a shiny Pokemon from the standard 1 in 4096 to a much more manageable 1 in 683. I know, you're probably wondering why I didn't just start with this method, and well, that's a great question. To be honest, it's been years since I last used this method, so I had forgotten gotten just how good the odds actually become to find a shiny Pokemon. However, I encountered a new problem. I don't have any foreign Pokemon. But luckily, my viewers do. So with a little bit of help from you guys, I had someone trade me a Japanese male Eevee named Yaya, who I was able to breed with a female Wooper that I'd caught. All right, Yaya and Mama, go get it. You know what to do. So with Yaya and Mama set in place, raring to go and ready to ram, I made like a biker on the Tour de France and spun around in circles for the next several hours. With these increased odds, it was only a matter of time before I got my shining Wooper, right? If you've kept up with any of my shiny hunting antics over the past several months, you know that this couldn't have been further from the truth. Shocker, but even with the increased odds of finding a shiny, this hunt was still an absolute struggle. I just wanted to play the game, man. On the bright side, taking multiple days to find this thing allowed other people to finish the game and complete the national decks, which allowed them to do all the hard work it takes to get themselves a Lotad, which they so graciously traded to me for one of my failed eugenics experiments. I gave Yaya and Mama a breather and swapped in our newly acquired Lotad, and I felt like there was no better father suited for the job than... Fyrus. Okay. Now mate. So, Fyrus and this random weed that I got from some stranger on the internet gave birth to a beautiful boy. It is time. The egg has been added to our party. That is no ordinary egg, good sir. That is all tribe the Lotad. Here it is. One of our last members... Everybody get ready. This is a momentous occasion for us. This is it. All Tribe the Lotad is finally here. Yo! Ah, uh, what a lovely family. After that, there's just one team member left to acquire. I began to lose hope quickly though. I hatched hundreds of eggs and still nothing. YouTube is a brutal platform. The time to post Shining Pearl gameplay was slowly dwindling away and here I was just casually dilly-dallying around in circles on my bike for an old man's pleasure. Things were getting drastic and it was time to take drastic measures to address them. I needed to send out a signal. A shiny whooper signal. So yeah, I just had someone trade me one. There's only one way that we can send this Pokemon off. Goodbye, Whoop. Thank you for everything. You've been, it's been such an honor, but we had to trade you. We got it! We did it! Oh my gosh! Oh, I worked so hard for it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Shiny Whooper, we did it! Look, I know that this isn't the thrilling conclusion to the hunt you were all hoping for, but nowhere in my initial tweet did I ever say that I had to actually 
catch the Pokemon in order to use it. So I see this as totally fair game. The only thing left to do in our playthrough now was become the champion. Three gyms down, five more to go. Crasher Wake? Easy, slap him up. You like Water Stones I'll Drive? Here you go, have one. Oh boy, the team is finally complete. What will I do next? Uh, meet Cynthia's grandma, I guess. So after a brief introduction in Celestic Town, we beat up on the lone Team Galactic Grunt stationed in front of some ruins from which I proceed to go look at some cryptic hieroglyphics on the wall and then come face to face again with the Team Galactic leader where he reveals his plans to create a new universe. Wow, these evil teams are no joke nowadays. After Cyrus finishes reciting his manifesto to a 10 year old child, I head back to Heart Home where Fantina finally views me as a worthy challenger. A few pop quizzes later, and I'm ready to roll over any ghost type that she might throw my way. Fyrus bowls his way right over her drift limb and I'm ready to claim my fifth gym badge until... Gengar? Can Gengar even touch me? Does it have like sucker punch? Oh, sludge... Oh... Ah, that's right. Okay, so I wasn't quite as invincible as I wanted to be. Well, I guess I'll just throw in my trusty overleveled starter Pokemon to finish the job. And yeah, that's a bit too easy. Look, I'll try not to do that every time. But hey, shouldn't have given me access to the fire starter if you truly wanted to see me struggle in this run. Now, emboldened with the power of Surf, I set off to Cantalave City, which is much closer than I expected it to be. What a nice quick trip that was. Once I arrive, I'm immediately challenged by Not Barry, who is still convinced that he has what it takes to be the Pokemon League champion. So I immediately put him right back into his place by steamrolling through his entire team. Next up in my speed run to the Elite Four is Roark's dad, Byron, who happens to be a master of steel type Pokemon, yet apparently hires trainers that have mastered the fairy type, because why in the world does someone in here have an Azumarill? One look at my team to see who is best equipped to handle Byron's collection of rocks and metals, and okay, so so maybe this is the last time that I'll have to rely on old Gunji. <laughs> but no, that was lame. I wanted to use the Pokemon that the people came here for. The Bidoofs, the Wurmples, the Shiny Whoopers. That's it. I can sweep Byron's team with one little whoopy boy. Now it's time for me to introduce the strategy that would lead me to victory for the rest of the run. Baton Pass. For those who don't know, Baton Pass is a fun little move that allows the user to switch out of the battle and pass on any stat changes that it has incurred along with it. Just had to spend half your HP using Belly Drum to max out your attack stat? No problem! Just use Baton Pass to slap those stat boosts on a healthy Pokemon to sweep the gym. This was Apom's entire purpose on the team. Ben the Apom had zero attacking moves. All this thing knew was the sad existence of being a side character who gets the protagonist ready for the big fight. Apom would start by making itself impossible to hit by stacking six evasion boosts with double team and then boosting speed attack etc to pass on to whoever was in charge of sweeping that trainer <laughs> and if you need any evidence for how well this strategy can work well just watch this hit him with it okay that's one down one down yes let's go Oh, this is awesome. This is the most fun way to play. Let's go, baby! The Jome Dome! The Jome Sweep! So after Byron fell in the wake of our small, swole, shiny boy, it was time to find our next victim, who happens to be all the way up north, and for whatever reason, I can't think of what the trainer's name is. How odd. Up. Oh, nope, wait a minute. Team Galactic just exploded a pipe bomb underneath Lake Valor that killed all the Magikarp living there, so we need to go take care of them first. Anyways, after playing the part of the villain and committing an act of terror against Team Galactic's Pokemon, I was finally free to set off into the frozen tundra to acquire my seventh gym badge. Since they patched out the ability to slide up to the gym leader, I had to spend an admittedly embarrassingly long amount of time figuring out this puzzle intended for babies in order to sweep this gym leader who shall remain nameless as team in less time than it would take for you to press the subscribe button and like the video. So after prying the icicle badge from the cold hands of this overused joke, I had to deal with Team Galactic. Again. I meander my way up to this totally unassuming building that just so happens to be Team Galactic's headquarters, where a grunt clumsily drops the one key that will allow us access to their entire hidden base. After making quick work of the grunts, I find my way to Cyrus, where I beat up his team in exchange for a Master Ball. After the sheer embarrassment of losing to a worm, Cyrus decided to let go of the three mythical Pokemon that Team Galactic had to commit actual crimes in order to obtain. I then chase Cyrus to the top of Mount Cornet, where he summoned the God of Space to help create his brand new universe. And I caught it. 
After acquiring our new pal and sending Team Galactic packing for the last time, there is only one goal left to achieve, becoming the champion. Just one gym badge left to obtain from a leader specializing in electric types, so luckily I have a shiny ground type Pokemon who, despite its tiny stature, can come up big in a battle against these electrifying foes. Suddenly all there was left to do now was take on the Elite Four. I was so close to the champion that I could almost taste the victory. The plan was simple. Each member of the Elite Four presented their own unique strategy, but what good is that if all their Pokemon can see are a million different after images of one Bidoof? Oh yeah, but before we could enter the Elite Four, we had to crush Not Barry's dreams one last time. All right, Gunji, show us what you're made of. <laughs> Finally, I was free to walk into the inescapable escape room and test out my one true strategy. Aaron, the bug type master, was the first to the plate and quickly learned what he would be staring at for the next five minutes. So after getting as juiced up as the buffest guy at your local YMCA, it was time to commence the strategy. I baton passed to Badoof, who took out Dust Talks and then steamrolled. Oh, I don't think I'm fast enough, actually. Oops. I forgot about the speed boost that I needed. Well, that did not go as planned. <laughs> okay, I guess it's time to make use of that trusty fire type starter one more time. Well, Aaron taught us a lesson that sometimes things don't always go as planned, but this time I wasn't going to half-ass the setup phase. In the previous fight, I kind of wimped out and didn't take the time to absolutely max all of my stats. But for this next one, I was willing to go all out. I managed to successfully shave off an agonizing extra 10 minutes of Bertha's dwindling life. I managed to successfully shave off an agonizing extra 10 minutes of Bertha's dwindling life by throwing the kitchen sink at her with the boost. I was not pulling my punches this time. Like, at all. I mean, come on. She was just asking for it with two water ground type Pokemon on her team. I just had to use Ludicolo to get the job done. I know, I know. I said I wasn't going to use my two fully evolved mons to breeze through the game, but things happened and opportunities presented themselves that were just too good to pass up. I promise you, these next three battles, you're in for a treat. Like a really spicy treat. Next up was Flint the... Fire type Elite Four member, and I had the perfect counter to douse his blazing team, Jome. Jome was really proving to be the MVP of the run so far with how many of the high level teams it was sweeping. Oh no, oh no. We have a similar strategy going here. Huh, how dare you steal my strategy, Flint? How dare you do this to me? Uh oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> he copied my whole fucking flow! Oh my god. What are you doing here, Flint? No, 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 no. That's not supposed to happen. Hey, that's my patented strategy that you're using there, sir. Hang in there, Joe. Yes! Flint tried his absolute best to imitate the master, but ultimately Joan proved to be too much, and there was just one final trainer standing between me and the champion of Sinnoh. Oh, and what's this? They use psychic types? Perfect. Just when you had forgotten about his existence, from the shadows he rises. Suvi the Wurmple. It was time for Suvi to take over the spotlight, and after finishing the pre-fight ritual, Ben passes the baton onto Suvi to finish the job where he encountered no roadblocks to the cleanest sweep yet. Good job, buddy. I always knew you could do it. When the piano starts playing, you know that something is about to go down. And this thing could only go down one way. Luckily for me, Cynthia starts off with her Spiritomb who can barely touch me. So I start off by giving my Apom <clears throat> drugs and then boosting up every single stat to its absolute maximum value. After this, I really had to give some thought as to who I wanted to pass those stat boosts onto to finish the run. I could have made a case for every one of my team members. Gun the one who started it all, Suvi, the unlikely hero, Jome, the standout shiny, Altrive, the Pokemon who received the most votes, but finally, I settled on the one who I knew had to be responsible for taking down Cynthia. Fyrus the Bidoof. God himself would rise up with a kit of maxed out stats and put Cynthia in her place, elevating our team to ultimate heights and cementing our legacy as one of the greatest teams to ever grace the halls of the Elite Four. Get him, Fyrus. Hit him! Hit him, baby! 
It's okay. Because, uh, oh yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna flinch. We're gonna flinch him every single time. This is it. This is the Bidoof sweep. Oh, your full restore will not save you. I'm sorry, Cynthia. But this beast cannot be stopped. It will not be stopped. He only gets more powerful. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this, Cynthia. I promise you. He can't stop getting crits. Nothing can stop this Bidoof. Uh-oh, the ace is coming out. The ace is... You really thought your ace could step to Phyrus, the god? You're so sorely mistaken. Spiritum is all that stands before me and victory. This is it. Yeah, it's over. She can't do anything. Her Pokemon is asleep. That's it. Sinnoh League Champion. It's just that easy. All you need is one Apom with Baton Pass and about 30 minutes of free time. And you too can sweep with a Bidoof. <laughs> and with that, it was over. All of the adversity my team had faced up to this point was a mere memory as I laid my Pokeballs down into the Hall of Fame so that the world could remember that time when a 10-year-old child swept the strongest trainers in the region with a roided-up rat. <laughs>